script, which is create a movie table, we are going to have a new a table here named movies movies okay with the structure that we define for example title i wanted to check that all the movies that i inserted were working fine you can see that uh, i'm doing that and the yielded object is going to return an array of objects and you can see that all of that is working fine over here after the select from movies you probably know sometimes you we need to set up a database with some uh, well actually kind of hard-coded data in order to perform uh, some kind of tests right or maybe after you send a form by the ui or an api request uh, you want to make sure that the data was posted correctly in the database itself in, in this video i wanted to try to explain how to connect cypress to my sql because that's the, the database that i have available right now in my computer <laughs> and i wanted to, to try to explain you step by step how you can achieve that uh, with with code examples right and some assertions that i think that could be interesting to have in mind okay so let's go ahead and start with this beautiful video thank you very much masters for click on this video as you probably know i i usually update automation test videos in the channel so please consider it subscribe or actually share this video with your peers if if they want to to learn more about this beautiful world okay <laughs> okay let's start with the integration it is pretty simple but it has it has some steps in the middle that we have to follow so we don't uh, get lost in in between okay so the first step that we have to do is install the the dependency mysql over here right with the command npmi mysql t so as soon as you have done this you're gonna notice that uh, in the package.json there is going to be a, a, a new dev dependency called MySQL over here. Okay, that's the version that I have right now. Um, <clears throat> once you have done this, we need to integrate the package with Cypress. So we need to go to the, the um, let me show you that under the plugins folder that Cypress has, we're going to look and click on the index.js. Okay, and we need to do some, uh, some changes here in this file. The first one is going to be like declare a constant variable named mysql this mysql variable is going to require the mysql package that we just downloaded in the node modules uh, folder over here okay it is going to look for mysql and and when we do that it is going to like inherit all the functions that we have inside of this uh, package okay so the, the next step that we have to do is create a new function a uh, called query test db okay and this particular function is going to require or actually expect two different parameters the first one is going to be the query okay and the second one is going to be the config okay let me show you what is inside okay um the first step over here is like declare a connection and this connection is going to use the mysql constant that, that we declared before okay and we're going to be creating a connection and it is going to receive a configuration what it, what it is and how we can change the configuration because right now i i don't know what is the database i don't know what is the the table that i need to uh, actually select right so this information is going to be saved in the cypress.json file look at that uh, we have an environment over here an environment a kind of object okay let me just format this with prettier okay and uh, we're gonna have under environment a DV object here with different parameters let me show you that we have a host key and the value local host and the reason of why is because I have a PHP my admin running in my local host right now okay and uh, well right now you can see that I have a database named Cypress test okay and I have declared an a, 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 actually an, a key over here named database okay and the name is going to be Cypress test because that's the, the database that I want to use to create tables, insert data and so on. Okay. Uh, once I have declared the local host or actually the host and the database, we also need to uh, set the user and the password. The user is going to be root. That's the, the default user that, that we have in PHP my admin. And the password is going to be empty in this case. Of course, you need to change this with your project parameters, okay? With your database, okay? That's important. Once I have done this, let me go back to my index.js and, and check that the config is going to be 
looking for the environment variable, okay? And also the DV object under that environment variable, okay? So what is happening here is that um, the, the, the plugin has access to the configuration file using this particular variable, okay? So we just need to look for the correct values, uh, just iterating over the environment, for example, and then the DV object, okay? And well, the, the, the new connection, we're gonna be creating a new connection with those values and, and that's basically what, what we're doing. And we're assigning that to the connection variable over here, okay? Then we're gonna be doing a connection using connection.connect, and then we need to do a promise in order to execute the query and disconnect if the the configuration is working fine or not okay so let's go ahead and take a look of this this promise is going to well actually uh, have a callback function that we, is going to resolve or reject okay uh, in the line 46 46 we're gonna be doing a connection that query and we're gonna be receiving the query that we received at the very beginning of the function here, okay? The query over here. And then, it, well, as if, if you check the query function, the, it is going to require uh, an, an, an options file over here, right? Or the MySQL query options, and then a callback function, okay? And as you can see, well, uh, in case it, uh, the, the callback function is an error, so we're gonna be rejecting that with an error. But if, if it is not an error, of course, it is, it is it means that the connection was working fine and the query returned data. So we're going to be uh, closing the connection because that's important, right? And then we're going to be resolving and uh, returning the results with this particular part of the code over here, okay? Well, now that we understand the query test DB, we need to uh, integrate or, well, look for a way to Cypress, um, to Cypress to understand that we need to perform a query. So we need to do this over here. We need to do a module exports, okay? And we're gonna be creating a task. What is a task in Cypress? Well, a task in Cypress is usable to execute code in Node via the task plugin event, okay? Um, let me show you this usage example that we have in, in, the, in the documentation. Uh, it is saying that uh, if we want to do a side task, okay, that log information in the terminal, Okay, we need to need, we act, I'm sorry, we need to enter the, the task name, okay, and then the, the terminal message that we want to, to send. However, we need to create this in the plugins file. We need to create the lock or, or maybe the, the, the name of the task over here. And inside of the log, we're gonna be receiving the parameters, okay? In this case, it's going to be the message. And inside of this uh, um, task, we're gonna be just uh, using console lock to enter the message over here, okay? So that's a, a kind of simple example of, of side task, but now let's understand how we can do this in in, in our example with, with databases, okay? Well, we need to declare the name of the task over here, which in this case is gonna be query to be, okay? And we're gonna be sending or actually receiving the query over here, okay? And well, as soon as uh, we're declaring this correctly, we're gonna be returning the query test DB function result that we have inside of this, okay? So notice that we're gonna be sending the query and we're gonna be sending the config, okay? But let me show you how you can call the side task query DB because that could be uh, something that we have in check uh, right now, right? So let, let me show you this. I'm gonna fold all this uh, code over here. And for example, to create a new database, we're gonna be doing a side task, okay? The name of the task is gonna be query DB. And you can see that here we're sending the query as parameter, okay? So let's take a look of the index again. We're sending or actually calling the task query DB. We're receiving the query. And now, I'm gonna be returning the data from the query test DB that is going to be receiving the query and the configuration that is inbuilt by the Cypress environment file, okay? So that's it. <laughs> I know that, that could, could be a kind of tricky explanation, but that's how it works under the hood, okay? Now let's take a look how simple it is to implement a query over here. We just have to well, call the query DB task. And for example, if we wanna create a table with a uh, called uh, or named movies, okay? And we have a title uh, with bar chart, we have a genre, okay? 
we have a director and we have a release year for every single row and my primary my, my primary key is going to be title okay i'm gonna come here i'm gonna be only <clears throat> executing this it and you're gonna notice that it is gonna be well actually working fine okay let me just open the the terminal and execute the cypress task runner <clears throat> i'm sorry and you're gonna see that when i execute the script database testing or db testing uh, well the first script which is create a movie table and we are creating the table movies and and so on you're gonna notice that when i open my my look my database we are gonna have a new a table here named movies movies okay with the structure that we define for example title we have defined that in the in the create query over here right let me show you that create table okay movies with the title okay for example and title was the primary key well it is the primary key here that's important too and so on that that's all the information that we needed right so let's continue with how to select update and drop the date the, the table at the end of the of the life cycle right of this script in particular so let's go let's continue with this it's funny right i hope that you're enjoying this i know <clears throat> it could be overwhelming a bit but i hope that you can hit the like button if you are still looking at this video because i'm having fun i hope that you're having fun too <laughs> we are kind of weirdos right but we're having fun let's continue with insert two movies okay that's it. Uh, the, okay, I, I, I have done something wrong here. Let me reload this because, of course, this is going to represent an issue, but there it is. Um, every time I save the changes, the, the test runner is going to ex re execute everything again. Check that. I, I know, I, I have explained that before. We need to change something in the Cypress.json, but right now I'm going to leave it as, as it is. Okay. Let's continue with the insertion of data. Uh, or I'm going to be inserting two movies in the table that I just created and well I'm going to be inserting the values for Joker and the, the values for the Batman the, the last movie of Batman that was in the <laughs> in the theaters okay and you're going to notice that um, oh I, I, I missed something from, from, the last from the last explanation and it is important to mention that every single time that we perform a task okay it is going to return a yielded object that yielded object is basically the response that we're going to be having after sending some kind of task to note, okay? In this case, you can notice that uh, we are receiving, like, the affected rows, the changed rows, the field count, the insert ID, the message, and so on. But uh, in this case, I think that there is nothing uh, or much to assert, right? Because we don't have, like representational data about the the creation of the of the table itself but i wanted to check that the message over here is empty just in case it, we can capture an error over here so i just did uh i used the then command to get the result or maybe the yielded object okay and i'm gonna be checking that the message expect to equal empty and you can see that basically the assertion is working fine over here, okay? But now let's continue with insert. Insert to movies. Uh, well, as I was telling you, I'm going to be inserting into movies to movies over here, the Batman and Joker. And you can see that uh, when I do that, uh, well, the gelded object is going to have affected rows equal to, okay? And also the message here is records to duplicate zero and warning zero. In this case, I decided to uh, assert those values, the rows affection, number two, and also the message to be equal to records to that there was no duplications and the warnings was, was zero, okay? So it is working fine. You can see the assertions over here working as expected. And then uh, I wanted to check that all the movies that I inserted were working fine, that were posted correctly. So let me show you this. Uh, I, what I did was basically a query DB, which where, where I'm gonna be selecting all the data from movies, okay? You can see that uh, I'm doing that and the yielded object is gonna return an array of objects. And in this case, I have two, of course. The, the first or the zero part of this array is, is going to be the Joker and the second one or the first position of the array is going to be the Batman. So I just decided to uh, create two silocs to identify the rows, okay? And you can see that probably um, I'm just uh, checking the director 
of Joker, right? Toad Phillips in the position zero and so on. All the information about that particular movie in the position zero. But in the position one, you can see that, well, the, the information is about the Batman. And you can see that all of that is working fine over here after the select from movies. And you can see that it is working perfectly fine. That's amazing, right? Let's continue with the update. Maybe we can update a movie and check that it is working fine. So I decided to create a side task to update movies and set the genre of the of the movie Joker to test genre, okay? Because in the, in the past, the Joker has the psychological thriller genre, okay? But now it is going to be test genre, just to make sure that, I don't know, I'm just playing around with this, okay? <laughs> Uh, so you can see that after I have done the, the update over here, the yielded object is going to be returning affected rows 1 and changed rows 1. We can also check the message if we want, right? That could be important, but in my case, I just decided to check the affected rows. You can see that it is only one, and that's cool. And then I decided to well select only the genre for movies where the title is Joker to make sure that the result is test genre now right and while well, you can see that the 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 string is different and the, it was changed correctly in the database itself okay let's continue with the last one we deleted the movie table so we can create and delete movies every single test execution you can see that i just did a drop tables movies and the yielded object oh, again doesn't display any information relevant from my point of view, right? So I decided to check the message to, to be empty, basically, to be equal to empty. And that's it, guys. I, I hope that you enjoyed this. I know that it's a bit more of information, a lot of information, I'm sorry. But I think that could be interesting to have this in mind. Could be a lifesaver because this is important in Cyprus is getting a lot of attention over these days okay guys so thank you very much masters i hope that you enjoy this and let me know in the comment section if if you like it if you want to have another video of this kind of uh, i don't know maybe this kind of uh, content right maybe cypress to check a postgres database or maybe a non-sql database that could be interesting too i have in the list to check how to read an excel file with cypress that could be interesting but i i have a lot of ideas okay guys so thank you very much i hope that you enjoy this and, and see you in the next one bye bye